Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, y'all, I'm so sorry I missed November's book review. It was just a crazy month and I just, I did all my pre-filming at all like on one day at one time to where I wasn't able to film my book review because after that it was just go, 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 prepare, 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 work, save, work, save. So we are here with the book review in December and I will be sure to start another book tonight and give you a book review I guess I'll try to give you two book reviews this month. We'll see how it goes. I am actually having my last Bible study group session tonight for this year. So I probably will have some extra time to read something other than my BSF Bible study group and my Bible plan that I'm reading on um, YouVersion and outside of my daily read and write the word. So your girl will need something else to read anyways. But anyways, today we are doing a book review on Grace Not Perfection. And I have a lot of mixed feelings about this book. So I'm gonna do how I usually do. This doesn't have a back to it to read. So I guess I'll read you this right here. Read the first page of the first chapter and read the last page of the last chapter. So that way you guys can just kind of get kind of what it's about. Okay, so the back of the book just says, I will hold myself to a standard of grace, not perfection. Okay. So we'll read the first paragraph in chapter one. It says, it was late afternoon and traffic in Tampa was disastrous. I was racing home to get ready for date night after a big day at work. Hours before I had nervously and triumphantly handed in my two weeks notice, it was official. I was leaving the corporate world to dive headfirst into fledging into the fledging design business I had nurtured in the wee hours of the previous two years. It was finally time to devote my attention to this and to the endeavor that had stolen my heart and ignited the past and ignited my passions. Designing meaningful, meaningful paper goods for life's most special moments. Though I was eager to get home to celebrate, I spied a drugstore ahead and turned into the parking lot. Twizzlers suddenly sounded like a great idea. Okay. That's the first page, first paragraph of the first chapter. So now let's read the last paragraph. Here's one last exercise. Sit palms up with your eyes closed, sit and listen. What story will you live? Many of your seasons are not are yet to be defined. The next link in the chain is totally up to you. Is it grace, trust, faith, growth? Choose your next step. Joy is found in the journey. A journey is simple and profound grace poured constantly on poured constantly on perfectly imperfect women like you and me. This is your time. So, if you know me, you already know my issue with this book. <laughs> okay, so first of all, what do I like about this book? I like that this book teaches you ways to simplify your life and to give yourself grace and not feeling like you have to have the Pinterest picture perfect everything. So I do like that the book does that. So what I don't like about this book as a follower of God is how little this book is actually based around God like she throws scripture in there from time to time she kind of throws relying on God in there from time to time but the book is solely like centered around self and self-improvement and the reason that that is such an issue with to me is because your walk with God is all about him and nothing like very little to do with you and because it's all about him whenever you will allow yourself to be all about him, he's able to work in you and improve you and improve your life, but it's all for his glory. So that's what I don't like about the book. And that's why it took me so long to finish because I kept 
reading and I kept wanting more of God, more of God. The more I read this book, I kept wanting her, okay, now give me some scripture as to why I should do this. Okay, give me some scripture as to why I should apply this to my life and why it would work. Like I kept seeking God in this book and it's like, okay, okay, like, uh, like, like that's just how I felt with every chapter that I read in this book. Now, I would highlight in this book and I would share all the parts, like literally what I highlighted and shared on my Instagram story. So if you don't show me, follow me on Instagram, follow me or on Snapchat. They're both down below in the description box. I would share out of this book. So basically what you saw on Instagram that said it, that had anything to say about God, you saw on Instagram because that's all that was in here. So anytime I could find something that had to do with God, Every time I read this book, so like, yes, every chapter had like a sliver that had to do with God, but I want the meat of a book that I'm reading to grow my faith and my understanding of how we should live. I want the meat to be God and I want the toppings to be about me. Does that make sense? So the meat of this book, and I'm not, I don't, I don't want to say her. So if I'm reading this book to improve myself and my walk was God, the meat of this book was all about me and the toppings were God. I want something where the meat is gonna be God and the toppings are about me. That's what I look for and what I seek for. So if you're just looking for something that is going to help you get your life more in order and gonna help you learn how to schedule your, schedule your day and kind of make things just more simpler for you, more simple for you and help you just declutter your life pretty much and this book is great and I, I one one thing that i do love about this book though that really helped me is the fact that it's grace not perfection so i should constantly be striving to be perfect but to allow myself grace when i fall short so that is something that i did like about this book but i just wish she would have said it in those words like yes in this walk with christ we should strive to be perfect but let's have grace on ourselves to where whenever we fall short of being perfect, we have that grace and we realize that God has that grace with us and that we are forgiven for not being perfect, if that makes sense. Like I wish it would have been said like that with scripture to back it up. But like I said, embrace, and I mean, I guess I should have said, and I let like, like embracing simplicity, celebrating joy. So like I stand by all of that. Like we should be happy with simple lives. We should be because our lives here on earth are not permanent. So I do love the grace, not perfection aspect. I love the celebrating simplicity and or yeah, embracing simplicity and celebrating joy. So embrace your simple life and celebrate the joy in that simple life. Like I stand by all of that. My biggest gripe is, is that there wasn't a whole lot of scripture, like actual scripture, not just telling me, hey, God did this for me. No, show me the scripture where it says that he will do this for me. And that was my biggest gripe about this book. And that's just me as a reader, as a believer, what I like. If you're the type of believer where you want to get all your scripture like out of the Bible and you want to do that on your own time, you just need something to put a little pep in your step and help you. This book is great for that. Or even if you're a non-believer and you just need something to help get your your life in order this is a great book for that as well because she like she has a simplified planner so like she has like a whole line of this like she does planners she writes books like she has a whole lot of stuff of this like this uh like, like that's what her company is so i don't knock her on that like i don't knock her for that's basically what this book was was like a big old promotion for her planner and i'm not gonna lie like as I was reading this book, I was like, man, I need that planner. But I also think realistically, like, Allie, how often would you actually use that planner? So I buy cheap planners. But yeah, like, that's just the thing is like, I wanted more God than I received in this book. And that's just why it didn't work for me. I mean, not that it didn't work for me, but why I didn't enjoy it as much as I feel I should have. So like I said, good book, if you really like, like, like if you have a strong relationship with god or if you don't have a relationship with god at all and you just want to get your life in order check out this book it's not a bad book like i i, I expressed to you guys why i didn't like it and like i said I, I read books to get more of god and to show to teach me ways that i could get closer to god and i just didn't feel like this did that 100 for me maybe like 75 percent, but not 100 for me so
yeah you guys that's all i have to say about this book i mean check it out if you want to it's grace not perfection by M emily lee lay lee lay um but yeah that's it for this book review you guys i know it was super fast i didn't have much to say about it or too much to go into depth with it on but that's just really how i felt about the book like i said it's good if you want to just if you just need help getting your life in order more but i mean if you want to know how to get your life in order with god this isn't the book for you so yeah i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.